The collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies projected to occur in about 4.5 billion years from now. What will happen to our solar system when that does happen? Here's a detailed overview based on current understanding. Studies suggest a 50% chance that our solar system will be pushed outward from the current galactic center by approximately three times its current distance of 26,660 light years. This would place the solar system closer to the outer edge of the newly formed galaxy, potentially affecting its environment and interactions with other celestial bodies. Over the millions of years of the merger process, the night sky will undergo significant changes. Constellations will shift due to the relative motion of stars, and the sky will become denser with stars as the galaxies intermingle. The vast distances between stars within galaxies mean that direct collisions between stars are extremely rare. However, there is a small chance that a star could pass close enough to the solar system to disrupt planetary orbits. Such an event could lead to significant gravitational perturbations, potentially ejecting planets from their orbits or altering their paths dramatically. If the solar system passes through dense regions of the merging galaxies, such as the bulge of Andromeda, there could be increased exposure to radiation and solar wind, which might affect any remaining technological or biological systems, though this is speculative given the timeline. By the time of the merger, the sun will be nearing the end of its main sequence phase, having exhausted much of its hydrogen fuel. It will be brighter and hotter, which will have already made Earth uninhabitable due to increasing solar luminosity long before the galaxies collide. This process, known as the sun's red giant phase, is expected to occur around 5 billion years from now, overlapping with the merger timeline. Despite the galactic collision, the solar system itself is not expected to be destroyed. The planets, including Earth, will likely remain intact, but Earth will no longer support life due to solar changes, not the galactic merger. The merged galaxy will be a massive elliptical galaxy, containing over a trillion stars. This new galaxy will have a different structure, with a central bulge and possibly extended stellar halos, altering the cosmic neighborhood of the solar system. Given that Earth will be uninhabitable due to the Sun's expansion long before the merger completes, any potential for life in our solar system will have ceased. However, if humanity or other intelligent life forms have migrated to other star systems or planets by then, they might observe these changes from a distance. The merger is part of the broader evolution of the universe, where galaxies continue to interact and merge, reshaping the cosmic landscape over billions of years.